Hi everybody, um, coming to you guys today to share something a little fun. Right now I'm in my kitchen, but when you guys are watching this, I will be far, far away. I'm getting ready to take a vacation. And so I wanted to share with you guys what I'm bringing with me. Um, those of you who know me well know I have a fairly extensive collection of makeup. Um, I just love the stuff. I love buying it. Um, I love playing with it, even if I have nowhere to go, nothing to do. Um, I will a lot of times put on a full face of makeup when I'm just sitting at home babysitting uh, my nephew and niece um, because it's fun um, and I think that that's the point of makeup is to have fun not to necessarily get compliments and be seen although it helps um, but so I wanted to share with you guys I have such an extensive collection and going out, going on vacation, this is my chance to get my makeup seen because I'm not just going to be sitting at home. So how do I decide what I'm going to bring and what I'm not going to bring? Because um, the last thing that you want is to be on vacation, you know, getting ready to do something fun and being like, I wish I had that here. Um, so I'm going to kind of go through with you guys what I am packing. Um, considering I have such a huge collection of makeup, I'm going fairly small. I'm this is my travel makeup bag. It's not huge. It's, it's the Evil Queen. I love her. I love Snow White. Um, always been my favorite. Um, but so this is this is it. This is what I'm going to bring for a week, and I'll be gone for a little over a week. So I'm going down to see my family in Oregon first. So what am I bringing with me? I'm not going to go over the tools. I'm not going over the brushes that I'm bringing or like my primers and. Um, finishing spray and stuff like that. Um, if you guys do want to see what I'm using, um, let me know in the comments and I would be happy to share um, with you guys kind of what I've been using, what I've been playing around with and what my go-tos are on that one. Um, but we're going to talk about the makeup that I'm packing. Um, those of you who know me know that I am a unique fiend. Um, I love this stuff and this is my typical uh, foundation and you can see we are down to the dregs on this one. This is um, the Touch Mineral Foundation in Scarlet because I am the fairest of them all. Um, so that's my usual. It is a very, very matte um, foundation. So I've been kind of playing with something else. And this one is matte as well, but has kind of more of a sh uh, satiny finish to it, I think. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Longwear. Um, and this is in shade 400, which is fairest of their shades. There's a trend when we're talking about foundations with me. Um, I always go right to that end of the spectrum and that's about where you find me. Um, I can go one shade darker in this one um, and I think once summer comes I actually will. So this is a really really uh, good shade range for me to find one that I can actually go one shade darker gives it just that hint. Um, so I had a cousin that used to tell me when we were little in the summer I don't tan I get a skin tone so um, we have my winter pale and then a skin tone for summer. Um, so this is what I've been wearing right now so this is my foundation that's the big thing that you need and then a cover-up. I don't get a lot of spots you can see I do have one right there um, I don't get a lot of like acne spots and stuff that I need to conceal but I do use this for brightening up my under eye area um, and a bit of highlight down the center of my face this one is the Rimmel London stay matte concealer and I hate it I absolutely hate it so that one's going with me um, it's going with me because I bought it to try it and I don't like it and I'm not gonna waste it <laughs> because it was money. Um, not expensive money. I think that one was like a $4 concealer and I'm getting about $4 um, worth of concealing for it. This was actually only um, $11 at Walmart. Really, really great deal, really long wearing. It is a little transfery um, on the nose, but that could be the primer that I'm using because um, I haven't used it with my unique primer yet. Um, Whole, whole different video. So I've got a concealer and a foundation to go with me. And then um, I need one blusher. I only have three or four blushers, um, but this is the one that I go to most often. So that's the one that's coming. Um, it is sub subtle, supple, supple. I can't speak. Uh, the Moodstruck Pressed Blusher. And this is a very kind of orangey color not really orange though kind of peachy 
in the middle. It's not really pink. That's what I'm trying to say is it's not pink and I don't like pink blushes. Um, I'm not a huge fan of them or at least I haven't found one yet that I like because I've said that so now I'm gonna get one and I'm gonna love it and I'm gonna be like you guys it's the greatest and you guys are gonna be like but you said no pink. So right now this is what we're going with. So a blusher to bring in some color, um, a bronzer to make it look like I have skin tone. This is the Beachfront Bronzer in Sunset. I really, really like this. It warms up your complexion, kind of brings in, I use it slight bronzer, slight contouring, um, and just kind of to warm up my face all around. Gives me a bit of a skin tone or at least the illusion of it. Um, so I really love that. And I was really scared to go with a bronzer um, just because I am so pale, but that is one thing that I am so glad that I tried. Um, and with the unique stuff, if you don't like it, you can return it. Um, and they have a really, really um, easy return policy. And I love that. So I'd rather spend the money on something like that and get my money back than go through a tube of something that I hate, but I'm gonna do it. Um, because I was trying something new and that's what I do. Um, and then I'm going to bring a highlighter. And so this is the one that I have been absolutely loving. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter um, in Molten Rose Gold. And this is just a gorgeous highlighter. And I don't think the video is going to really do it justice, but it's just unbelievable. And with the light being behind me, it's really, really hard um, to show you guys that look but just on the skin it just fades out to nothing and it just gives you the most incredible um not wet but shiny sparkly aura about you so this i am loving right now um which i didn't think anything was going to replace my a la mode highlighter from unique um, and i don't say that it's replaced it but I'm not packing that one this trip and so that's a huge thing. And then the next basic thing is my uh, Moodstruck Brow Obsessions palette and this one is um, blonde because it's the lightest one that they <laughs> have. Uh, my hair is naturally really light so um, I go with the lighter one to darken up my brows. Um, but I do like this because it does have shade options in it. So if you're like me and you play around with your hair, um, when my hair is darker, I dip into this darker color more. When it's lighter, I dip more into this lighter color. And then you've got some highlights down below. And so this is a really great thing. A lot of bang for your buck um, in your pack. Um, doesn't take up a lot of room. And while I'm talking, I'm gonna throw this stuff in here because this is me making a video and me packing for vacation because I multitask, that's what I do. Um, so that's the basic face stuff. Then we get into the fun stuff. Um, for me, the eyes is the big thing. So we're going to be bringing this and can I talk about this for a minute? I'm in love. Um, I my my go to is the epic mascara from unique and I absolutely love it. It gives really, really great length. And if I put on multiple coats, my eyelashes will touch my glasses um, like so buildable length and I love it. But I'm loving this one right now. This one is kind of moved that one over and I haven't put it on since I opened this one. This is the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It doesn't give as much length, but the volume is incredible and it does not dry or get um, flaky throughout the day, which I tend to play with my eyes a lot. So that is a huge bonus on this. Like at the end of the day, my lashes are still really soft and just gorgeous so i'm in love with this so mascara goes in um and then eyeliners so for eyeliners when i travel i'm really really basic uh this is the unique eyeliner in pristine so this is a white i use it on the bottom um, a lot of times and then perfect which is their black um which i have another one waiting this is my everyday go-to mascara um, and then I'm also going to bring the Dip and Draws in Perfect as well. Um, and this is a really great liquid liner and it's got this wonderful pencil tip. And I use that for carving out wings. If I'm gonna be going really bold and putting some winged eyeliner on, this is what I use because I can't draw a straight line with a pencil. So 
three eyeliners, that'll cover me for a week. Um, and then I'm bringing my NYX, uh, what is it called again? Jumbo pencil, eye pencil in milk. This I use to, as a base for my shadows, just to brighten the color. I don't ever use it on its own because it does look really pasty on the skin, but I love it because it brings out the shadows. And so then we get to the fun part and this is the eyeshadows. When I travel, I try and grab one palette that I'm going to get the most use out of. And I do love the Addiction palettes from Unique because they have a whole different range and they kind of go with whatever vibe. Um, my go-to is usually palette one, which is the um, Warm Tone Neutrals. And so this one gets packed a lot, but I'm leaving it this time. Um, and I'm replacing it with this one. And this is the Violet Voss Flamingo palette that I got uh, and shared with you guys not too long ago. And the colors in this are just amazing. I am in love um, with this palette. It's really, really soft. They're really, really blendable. They're really pigmented. I think the only one that I've had issues as far as pigment goes is this one down here pinwheel which is a dark shimmery pink um, that's the only one that I've found that doesn't really um, live up to the rest of them um, if I go in with a wet brush though it makes it a little bit better or I use my finger um, and finger paint on and then that one seems to work so bring in this one and then I'm breaking my own rule of traveling with just one palette and I am bringing this this is the Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea volume. I think this is volume three. This is in my one of my boxy charms. I'm bringing this just because the Violet Voss only has a couple of neutrally colors in there, and this has a better selection of neutrals. They are all shimmers, with the exception of one, which that at first I was like, "Ooh, shimmers!" Now it's driving me crazy because you can't really build up with a lot of shimmers. You can, but you can't. Um, but this this one right here treasure is the most beautiful brow highlight in the world and honestly that one color is the reason i'm bringing this palette um so that's gonna go in my bag and the cool thing about packing a smaller bag is that it does hold everything more secure i don't have to worry about things like jumping around in the bag a lot um, and then the only thing left to talk about is lips so when i travel i bring two lips um a nude lip so this is the splashed liquid lip in stellar um which is this beautiful nude color and these are wonderful it's playing really purple on the screen it's not purple i promise you um i do have the purple but this one is not um but it's a it's a really wonderful nude it's a wonderful formula they stay all day um i do have the lip liner in plush that I pair with it. Um, this is my typical go-to if I'm doing something really, really bold on my eyes. I usually go for something more neutral on my lips and that's this. I say usually just because that's not always the case. I do love my hot pinks and purples and someday I will get blue lipstick. Um, right now I guess is the time with the Blue Bloods collection out but then I'm going to bring this one and this is the Unique Lip Liner in Primal. This is their red lip liner um, and I love their lip liners. They're very, very creamy. So that goes in the bag and then I'm bringing this, this one I've shared with you and I, I haven't touched it since just because I want it to be perfect still for my vacation. Um, and this is the Jessica Rabbit from Siate London glitter storm lipstick and of course with the lighting it's not gonna play for you guys but this is just gorgeous i do have a video showing this um if you haven't checked it out go look at it it's just the most beautiful thing and you guys this smells good it smells like cotton candy um which is really random but really true so putting that in the bag that's going i always bring a nude and a red because if I don't feel like doing a lot of makeup, if I don't feel like doing a bold eye um, or I don't have the time, I will do mascara and a winged liner or even sometimes not even the winged liner and a red lip. 
and that's it. Um, something to make the eyes pop, something to make the lips pop. And if you do anything, a red lip will make you look put together. So that's my trick. So that's it. Two totes of makeup pared down to one and there's still room in here. I'm gonna be able to get my brushes in there and that's it. That's all I need to travel. Um, so I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, pop them down in the comments um, and I will see you guys when I get back.